And evil is on. Great. I want to find out this Dr. Eric's big secret. I can't believe Denise blackmailing him to marry her. I wish he could be with Jenny. She's so good and she loves Eric. So, Denise loves him too, although she has funny ways of showing affection. You mean like pushing her husband off Mount Everest? When Ronald shows up alive, I predict a 45 caliber divorce. Then Jenny could get Eric. If she'll have him after learning his secret. Jenny should go with George anyway. The guy would walk through walls for her. I can't wait to see what happens. Where do we start? Where we left off with Eric's secret. This can't be. Eric would never do something like this. But he did. It's a good thing I can keep a secret. Just as long as he stops fooling around with my sister. Are you saying you're capable of blackmail? Are you kidding? I was capable of sleeping with your prom date. This is nothing. <laughs> now slow, deep breaths. There's nothing to be upset about. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Now you got yourself all worked up over your operation, didn't you? What do you expect? You're going to slit me open like a sea bass. <laughs> Mr. Thompson, you're going to be just fine. The most important thing is to remain very, very calm. Uh -huh. Now the nurse will see you to one of the exam rooms. Uh -huh. Tell me it's not true. It? According to this, the real Dr. Eric Hahn is dead. Ah, that it. <laughs> This is true. You stole the identity of a corpse. It's a reasonable assumption. And I'd have no idea who the man was that I kissed last night. Technically, no. Is it true? Yes. Oh, my God! I can't believe this is happening to me. And if blistering persists after five days, discard the applicator. <laughs> oh. How can you take this so calmly? Calm? Look at these hands. I'm shaking like a leaf. I got Mr. Thompson's surgery in a few minutes. You lied to me. Sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes it can even save a life. Just now, I lied to a patient about his operation. You lie to your patients? No, but in extreme anxiety cases like Mr. Thompson's, you have to lie. <laughs> Kill him on the spot if he knew how bad his chances were. Poor guy would be lucky if he survives the chest shaving. A lie is a lie. And if you don't think so, just ask Mr. Thompson how he'd feel if he knew his surgeon was a complete imposter. <laughs> Three scotches and no ice. <laughs> Women. Don't talk to me about women. Whoever she is, you can't have it worse than me. Oh, don't be too sure. I just bought a ticket to Addis Ababa to get away from the witch. Well, I just flew all the way from Nepal to settle a score with my she-devil. Oh, she can't be as bad as mine. Oh, yes, yeah, she can. Mine's the most evil female on Earth. Maybe we're talking about the same woman. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Queen Bitch. Oh, same last name. <laughs> Small worlds. You're here. Not saying you don't have it bad, chum. But when it comes to stomping a man's stones, my wife wins the derby. 
What could possibly be worse than blackmail and turning the woman you love against you? She tried to kill me. Now you got off easy. I'm her living slave. <laughs> I beg your damn pardon, but I really am the one that's worse off. Don't make me laugh. She tricked me into believing her illegitimate son was mine. She demoralized me in every way. She put my bank accounts in her name. She made me wear costumes for sex. She made me wear costumes for sex. <laughs> Perverse, humiliating costumes. Scout's uniform. Nurse's uniform. Lederhosen. A bustier. Tassels. A string of pearls and wingtips. <laughs> a diaper, booties, and a teething ring. <laughs> Why am I taking this out on you? No. I'm sorry, mate. I'm the one who's out of line. No, I'm sorry. God. Even when she's not here, she's got me all screwed up. Yeah, well, do you think where you're going now is going to be better? Where is it? Others? Uh, I'm as Ababa. There. Excuse me. Did they just say flight 106 to Addis Ababa? Yeah. Oh. Hey, guys. That's our flight. Tonight? Well, I wouldn't have time to pack. It's the desert. Just buy a Speedo when you get there. I can't. I simply can't. What's the matter, Roger? Forget to wax this morning? <laughs> it's father-son night at Donnie's school. Look, my mother's at her spa. I need some poolside shots of her to leak to the press. Poolside? <laughs> oh, hello. That's the only place she goes without her war paint. Let's show the world what the SS Charlotte looks like when she's sitting in dry dock. Wow. These will be the most embarrassing pictures to hit the tabloid since, oh, those shots of Elizabeth Taylor in her moo moo. Let's not drag Liz into this. <laughs> I'm glad you could come. I'm so happy to see you. You too, Mrs. Sandler. Denise, mother. Well, what happy occasion brings us to your dank, suffocating home? I'm gathering all my loved ones for a surprise. But as long as you're here, you might as well stay. Need any help? Please don't shut me out, Jen. Talk to me. Please talk to me. You are the most loathsome man I've ever met. You're selfish, deceptive, and I hate you. God, it's great to hear your voice. Look, I'm not interested, okay? For all I know, you could be a mobster, an axe murderer, or a Nazi war criminal. Jen, please. I think we both know I'm a little young to be a Nazi war criminal. <laughs> We're quite finished. Denise, end this blackmail. Set me free. Oh, I would if I thought you'd stay. But I love you, Eric. And I can't bear the thought of living without you. This is how you show your love? By keeping me on a leash? Well, it was fine when we played Your Majesty and the Lucky Lapdog. <laughs> yes. Would Thirsty Caroline like some water? Say, water. Her. Ma, what now? Oh, the miracle worker was on cable last night, and I thought, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what the doctor said. She'll talk when she's ready to. Fine. It's vodka anyway. <laughs> oh, Mom, listen, I know we already used up today's quality time by saying good morning, but uh, <laughs> there's something I need to talk to you about. Well, of course, David. I always have time for you, honey. This will just take a minute. <laughs> Your son got accepted to the Puget Academy for Boys. Oh, well, David, isn't that wonderful? Yeah, and you know, the nutty thing is, I never applied to the Puget Academy for Boys. <laughs> All right, I did it. I don't like that school you're attending. There's far too many girls there who are after you for your money. Well, you solved that one. Now there'll be boys after me for my money. <laughs> Mom, there's 
a man at the door who says he knows you? Come back! Okay! <laughs> Anybody got a bucket of cold water, you better throw it quick! <laughs> oh, Lord, what is this? Everybody, this is why I ask you here. Meet Harlan, my special friend. How things at the lab, Jen? You know me? Well, I ought to. When I met your mom down there in Palm Springs, all she did was talk up her kin. I mean, this must be your daughter Caroline, right? Oh, easy, sunshine. Don't talk my ear off. <laughs> David, boy, are you one lucky bronco. You're rich, you're young, you can still see your willy without using a mirror. <laughs> all Charlie did was talk up her kin. I mean, it's obvious that she cares a great deal about all of you. And you are... <laughs> everyone. What a charming individual. Denise, give the man the benefit of the doubt. With all these new faces, he's probably just feeling a little uncomfortable. <laughs> all right, he's a pig. <laughs> Wasn't he the guy who was sweet on Ned Beatty and Deliverance? intrude on this stately occasion, but I also have an announcement to make. In three weeks' time, Eric and I are going to be married. I'm sure I speak for all of us when I say how happy we are. But doesn't etiquette dictate that you bury one husband before you marry the next? No, it's time to let go of false hopes. I've petitioned the court, and I'm going to have poor Ronald declared legally dead. I'm afraid I'll never see my poor dear husband alive again. Evening. Evening. What can I do you for? No, 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 I'm just looking. Now, I'm back in the States after a few years abroad, and I need to you know, set myself up with a few minor necessities. Uh -huh. uh, automatic juicer oh. and... Uh, I must have an accordion, uh, wristwatch, uh, razor, uh, radio, and the biggest handgun you have. Well, they don't come any bigger than this. It's the same model Dirty Harry used to stop a 707. Oh, my. Squeeze one off from that baby, and you're looking at drive through bad guy. $300, and she's yours in five days. Five days? Sorry, pal, it's the law. On the other hand. <laughs> If you're ready to step up to handheld rocketry, absolutely no waiting at all on the genuine U.S. Army bazooka. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, uh, what would this do to, say, a person? Turn him into paint. <laughs> I'll take him. By the way, uh, what are you going to use this for? Oh, skeet. <laughs> It's not every day my mom brings me home a new dad. Now I come to think of it, it is. That's enough, David. Now, 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 wait a minute. You mean to tell me this fellow that made that swan dive off of Everest isn't his real daddy? David's biological father is a subject we don't discuss in this house. Suffice it to say, there was a time in Denise's life when she was, oh, how shall I put this delicately? A slut? <laughs> Charlie, I don't know if this is the right time or not, but, uh, hell, I got a little present for you. Oh, what a lovely ring. Uh, forgive me if I'm being rude, but isn't that a cigar band? <laughs> you just considered an IOU. Oh, you're spoiling me again, but two can play at this game. Now, I know how you love antiques. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So I'm giving you the Duesenberg. But that was Daddy's car. Yes, and it's been up on blocks since he died. Happy motoring, Harlan. Oh, well, lady, I'm just, uh, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm tongue-tied. <laughs> I guess I'll have to express my thanks in other ways. Well, before you do, you better get that tongue untied. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
George! Oh, Jen, you're home. Thank God. I, I hope you don't mind. The front door seemed to be open, so I just let myself in. No, uh, we were just having dinner. Won't you join us? Oh, yes. Is this a sunken living room? No, George, down here. Everyone, I want you to meet my friend George. Delighted. George, over here. Oh, no, 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 don't help me. I, I know I'm being stubborn, but I'm going to lick this if it kills me. We meet again. What is it you wanted to tell me? I'm getting a divorce. My wife is sleeping with another man. Oh, George, are you sure? I have irrefutable evidence. I rolled over and there they were. Oh, you poor man. Are you kidding? Why, this is fabulous. Now, now there's nothing that can stop me from seeing you. Oh, my love. I'll pass it on. George, I'm happy for your news. I am, but I still need time. And time you shall have. I'll still keep waiting, but waiting with a smile on my face. I'll show myself out. I know the way. How did you get in? Well, your secretary wasn't at her desk. Oh, honestly, what do I have to do? Put a lock on that bathroom? <laughs> we need to talk about Mother's new boyfriend. Do we? Well, I know she needs companionship, but I've never seen her, you know... Pay for it? Right. <laughs> it's obvious Harlan's just a common, you know... Gigolo? <laughs> exactly. And unless we protect her, Mom could get... You know, a really nasty venereal disease. <laughs> no, I meant hurt. Please take this seriously. It's like Mom's lost her mind. Oh, perfect. She'll be out of my way. Denise, this is our mother. Can't we put our differences aside long enough to look after the woman who brought us into this world? <laughs> oh, you kill me. <laughs> oh, I see. This isn't about Mother. It's about Eric, isn't it? You must mean my Eric. Yes, and you can have him. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you gave me your permission. Why the change of heart? Because I hate him. Oh, no, Jen. You don't hate anybody. You don't know how. I do. I hate him. You know, there's a very fine line between love and hate. When someone says they hate someone, it's usually a defense mechanism because they're afraid they can't have them. <laughs> Not this time. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. My shrink says that that's why I've been getting mad at Eric lately. You? Yes, you see, I'm afraid I can't have him either. He's so totally in love with you. Oh, come on. Really, didn't you see those looks he was giving you across the dinner table last night? Well, I did catch him staring a few times. Three, actually. I'm starting to think that even my blackmail isn't enough to keep you two apart. Are you saying you'd give him up? Do you love him? Oh, Denise, please forgive me, but I think I do. I really do. Too bad, he's mine. <laughs> How could you do this to me? You have Eric, isn't that enough? God, that was fun. <laughs> oh, sweet. Oh, they're from George. Hope you like chocolate. <laughs> Poor George. He means well. I just don't feel anything for him. Huh. Him. The last time I felt something for any man was... Well, I was going to say at your father's memorial service, but... The truth is... I didn't feel anything that day. Remember how impressed everyone was with me? Oh, look at Genevieve. How strong she is, they said. I was strong, all right. Nothing like building a fortress against the pain. But now, there's Eric. 
And I'm scared if I let myself feel something for him, I won't be able to stop the other emotions from flooding in. Funny thing. We both had the same reaction to Jonathan's death. You got quiet, I got tough. But we both went inside and locked the door, didn't we? Now, neither of us is sure whether it's safe to come out. Well, good night. Oh, I love you. Excuse me, but this is Dr. Hahn's office, isn't it? Yep. Oh, say, if you're going in, would you mind dropping something off for me? Sure, what is it? A urine sample. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Those straight people, are they all here to see you? Well, I do a little volunteer work from time to time. You do this for free? Well, only on Wednesdays, Saturdays, sometimes holidays. In other words, every spare moment. Well, when I'm not at the children's hospital. Listen, Jen. No, you listen. I was up all night thinking about what to think about you. What'd you decide? I decided I was crazy to get involved with you in the first place. You walk into my life, lie to me about who you are. So I decided never to see or think about you again. I decided something else, too. Roger, I won't be needing those pictures you took of my mother in Palm Springs. What? <laughs> I turned my face into beef jerky to get those. My mother's not a problem anymore. She's funneling her energies elsewhere. I hate you. Oh, no, you don't. And even if you did, who cares? Knock it out. <sighs> Hi, honey. I'm home. Looks like Denise is about to get Schwarzkopf. No way. She'll worm her way out. Speaking of worms, nice guy Charlotte latched onto, huh? It's appalling. Harlan is picking one pocket and Denise is picking the other. And what's with Caroline? Two years without talking. Guess David takes up the slack, huh? What a mouth. Notice how everyone clammed up about David's real father? There's a skeleton in that closet. Mark my words. Will George ever find love with Jenny? Nah, she's got her eyes on Eric. I wonder what's going to happen with them. I don't know. Too bad we have to wait till next week. Tonight, hundreds turn out for a public battle over whether to build a landfill in the West Valley. Also tonight, can something called sonotherapy actually help treat male baldness? Find out in our Family Matters report. And later on Nightline, an exclusive report. For the first time, tapes of Oliver North's meeting with high-ranking Iranian officials. That's Nightline, which follows News Channel 3, and News Channel 3 follows tonight's pick drawing. America's watching ABC.